called the inside out thread the needle. Uh, this is a move I discovered while doing the thread the needle. Um, so there are just a few basic things to remember about it and the concept is easy but when you actually start doing it it's, it's a little bit difficult. So there are just a couple things to remember. So hand position is everything and if you watch my underhand thread the needle tutorial first <clears throat> then you understand a little bit more about how this is working. It is actually, uh, the hoops are spinning in sync in front of you and both hands are inside the hoop. And that's why I call it the inside out thread the needle because with the thread the needle, um, each hand is in a separate hoop. Okay, so your right hand is in a hoop, the hoop closest to you. Left hand is in a hoop for this to weigh and then they change the hoop that's out comes closer to you. On this move it's a little bit different because if you watch the hands the right hand, okay this hand here, is going to continue to hold this hoop just like it always has on the thread the needle. But the left hand instead of being outside this hoop that's close to you it's going to be inside. So what you'll do is you will reach your hand inside the right hoop. Okay, so you can see this right hoop is surrounding the left hand. Okay. Okay, they haven't changed, the hoops themselves have not changed position and they won't change position. They will not go from this one coming closer to you because you can't unless you have um, a smaller size hoop on one of them. Okay, so you've got your hands like this, okay, and, and the way you know you've got it right is if the, if the wrists are touching, okay, if they're not, then that means you have this left hand outside this right hoop, <laughs> okay, okay, and if you put them down like this, you'll see how they are. Okay, I'll try to lift them up. Okay, so that's the position. And to start it, you want to, um, the hoops are going to be going in the opposite directions, but their spinning will be in sync with each other. So if they're going in the opposite directions, to get a little momentum going, you'll want to make the hoops, instead of being up like this, you want to turn them and then go the opposite directions because they will be going turn, spinning, both of them will be spinning, the right one will be spinning that way, the left one will be spinning that direction. So to start it, you don't want the hoops both upright in the same position. Okay, so to start it, you want to turn the hoops, just bring them down from your original hand position. Okay, you're going to bring them down. Okay, and then you're going to give them a big push and start them spinning. The right hoop, the right hand, this hoop, the right hand will be controlling its spinning and the hoop that's on the outside will stay on the outside and it will be controlled by your left hand. But if you see, like I said, that left arm is also through inside the right hoop. Okay, so if you have them up like this, then we're going to turn them, and then we're going to give them a big push in the opposite direction so that they will start spinning in opposite directions. So here we go. Okay, and, and the thing is, when you hear the hoops crashing, that means that you're a little bit out of plane. Okay, you could hear my hoops crashing a little bit. And um, when, you, when they start uh, feeling like they're going to crash into each other or they already are, then you'll probably lose it. So the idea of it is to keep the hoops, the, your hands, as close together as possible without the hoops going out of plane. 
And that is the secret here. It, you can, you know, put them really far apart, but then um, you lose the effect of it. Okay, so I think if you, if you try to keep them as close together as you can, your hands, rather than bringing them far apart, and the hoops, then you will have uh, more success. So I just want to warn you that when you're doing it, the hand that is on the bottom uh, will we'll get hit a lot um, and it'll cause probably you might have some bruising on that arm. Uh, the thing is that what you want to do if that's happening is you want to um, pay closer attention to the right hoop that you're actually controlling the hoop with that hand instead of controlling the hoop with the left arm. Okay. So you want each hoop to be controlled by the hand and not by the arm, okay? Uh, you, you can control it with the arm, but it hurts, <laughs> okay? At least that's what I found. So, you know, play around with it, see what, what else you want to do with it, and um, have fun with it. It is a, a really fun move once you learn it. Um, but have patience, like I always say, because the concept is easy, but actually doing it is a little bit difficult. Okay, so let me know if you have any trouble or you need help troubleshooting. Thanks for watching.